Pretty Here's my favorite. key point, right? You're a family, you're an institutional investor, you're a corporation, you see inflation. You either buy some land, yes. you buy some stocks, you buy a bunch of gold, or you buy Bitcoin. Why would you buy the Bitcoin? Because you want the apex asset. Exactly. You, you don't want the dilution of gold, you don't want the dilution of stocks, you don't want the property tax on property, you don't want the maintenance headache of property. All other forms of property can be impaired, confiscated, inflated away. All other forms of property, right? You have rental buildings in New York City and there's a rent control and you can't evict your tenants and there's a property tax and it's hard to sell it <clears throat> and you gotta maintain it. And so all other properties that come with a maintenance cost, they come with a risk. The idea of Bitcoin is digital property it's, it's, it's digital gold, it's digital property, it's digital money, it's digital energy. The idea is let's create something pure. It's better gold than gold because a billion dollars of it is weightless, moves at the speed of light for free, and I can hold it in my head. <clears throat> it's better property than property because there's no maintenance cost and I can't seize it from you. It's better money because for the same reason, it moves at the speed of light, it's programmable. Yeah, try to send money on a Saturday afternoon. If try to send a currency on a Saturday afternoon from a bank here to a bank in France or a bank in Nigeria, can't do it. You know, just can't do it. So it's not spoils of war, it's spoils of peace. This is another big idea I want to make. With everything else, if we monetize, if we have a bunch of money, if I give you a million dollars and I tell you to go buy stuff with it and you buy gold jewelry and a house and a car and a whatever and I want it, I put a gun to your head, give me your stuff, Tucker, and you say no, I shoot you and take your stuff. There's nothing in this world that you can own that I can't take with force except Bitcoin. Okay? If you take the million dollars and you buy Bitcoin, and you take personal custody of it and you own the keys, the keys passwords in your head. I hold the gun to your head, give me your Bitcoin, you can say no. Now, I can still shoot you in the head, but I don't get the property. You see, you can take it. This is the only property in the history of mankind, Tucker, you can take to the grave. The pharaohs wanted to take their gold with them to the grave. They created these pyramids to bury themselves with gold, but grave diggers and grave robbers steal the gold. You can't take anything else with you, but you can take the password in your head. Why is that significant? Well, you study the history of the Jews in the 30s in Nazi Germany, and, and most of them left with, if they were lucky, 10% of their assets. They would have left with all their assets if their assets were in Bitcoin. They couldn't move their house. They can't move a building. You can't haul the gold. Maybe you try to smuggle diamonds. Not very good store of value. It's the history of every diaspora, every people. When you leave, you know, when the Jews got driven out of Spain in whatever, 14, 1500, you know, during the Inquisition, it was all over property, right? They're stealing their property. So what are property rights? Property rights is you can own stuff and no one can take it away from you. I had a million dollars in a bank in Argentina 20 years ago. It was, it was in U.S. dollars. The peso was one to the dollar. The Argentine government sent a memo to the banks, forcibly converted everybody's dollars to pesos, and then forcibly devalued the peso, 10 for 1. And I woke up the next morning and I had $100,000. I had a million dollars the day before. They stole 90% of all the currency from everybody in the country overnight on a fax, without a law, without an army. Now, how hard would it be to take all of the property or, of everybody in the country with Bitcoin? You have to go arrest 60 million people, sweat them all in a jail for 90 days. How do you arrest 60 million people and sweat them in jail for 90 days? It's like a billion times harder. So Bitcoin is property rights, properly understood. And that is an important economic empowerment. It's a protection of individual liberties. It's John Locke's dream, life, liberty, and property, you know. Go west, young man. Why people come to America? Because if you were Catholic in Northern Europe, they took your land and property. If you're Protestant in Southern Europe, 
They took your land and property. If you're a Jewish person everywhere, they're always taking your land and property. Everybody went to America so that they could actually have freedom and have property, and no one would take it at the point of a gun, and they kept moving west. Bitcoin is moving your property into cyberspace, where it's protected by a wall of encrypted energy against those that would do you harm. And because it's the hardest to tax, and it's the hardest to steal, and it's the hardest to, co to confiscate, it's, uh, you know, it makes it the last thing in the world you're going to attack, the path of least resistance. Right? When, it, when it's time for me to tax, um, tax property in California, I'm going to put a tax on the building. Buildings don't move. If I put a 2% tax on the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin's moving to Wyoming. If I put a 2% put a tax on Wyoming, it's moving to whatever state in the union they didn't tax it. And when the entire country taxes it, it's moving to Monaco. And if everybody you know, in Monaco taxes it, I can sell it to someone in China, right? It's universally desirable, scarce property, hard to steal. You can... You can sell it, you can put a lien on it, you can mortgage it, you can develop it, you can protect it. And if your choice was take all your money and invest it in buildings in the city of your choice or invest it in a company or securities or invest it in collectibles, all those things are subject to expropriation, confiscation, inflation, taxation. This is the first time we kind of solved the problem. 